For those of you wondering, does Avi ever bail on a question? Does Avi ever just say, you know what, this is too hard for me, I'm going to guess and move on? Well, we are here now. On this question, this really tough data sufficiency question, I wouldn't be able to narrow it down beyond two answer choices. So I, I can eliminate three answer choices, and I'll tell you in a moment how. But for the remaining two answer choices, I would just take a 50-50 shot because I can't think of a way to solve this fully in under two minutes. So how do I eliminate three answer choices? Well, statement one gives me full information. Right? It tells me exactly the size of the circle. And I know there's only one kind or one size of regular pentagon that can be inscribed in a given circle. Right? If I try to make the pentagon any bigger, well, now it overflows beyond the circle. If I try to make it any smaller, well, it's no longer inscribed. So given a particular sized circle, which statement one gives me, and given that it's a regular pentagon, meaning all of the sides are equal and all of the angles are equal, there's only one sized pentagon that can fit inside that circle. So because statement one gives me full information, it has to be sufficient on its own. I should be able to answer really any question about anything within this circle or pentagon. Now, I might not know how to actually do that, but I know someone could do that because, again, we have full information here from statement one. So that, for me, eliminates the answer choices that claim that statement one is not sufficient on its own. So B, C, and E are gone, and we're down to A or D. Now, the problem with statement two on its own is that I can see that I can get a no because they're telling me that the diagonal is less than eight, so theoretically the diagonal could be 0 0.1. It could be an infinitesimally small diagonal, which would lead to a no. The perimeter of the pentagon is not greater than 26. It would be very small. The problem is I don't know if I can get a yes. In other words, with an upper limit of eight for the diagonal within the pentagon, and by the way, the circle part of the question isn't useful for statement two on its own. We can forget about the circle entirely and just focus on a regular pentagon whose diagonal is shorter than eight units. So I have an upper limit of eight. I don't know whether that would allow me to get to a perimeter that's greater than 26. And there is a mathematically viable way to test that, to see if that would allow you to get past 26. But I don't know how to do that in under two minutes. I don't have a good way of reasoning through this. And therefore, I would just take a 50-50 shot between A and D and move on to the next question. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.